Hi, how are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures with Flag Carrier the Druid. Today, we are back in Mount Hygel once again. I know I said that we would be questing in Deep Home, but I was wrong. We have not finished questing in Mount Hygel. So, let's get Much back to it. To be done. The last living lore keeper. You have awakened the ancients, Flag Carrier, but the wilderness spirit, Essena, remains silent. With her help, we can turn the tide of this attack and undo the damage Twilight Hammers has done. There may be one who can help us. The oldest of the trees, Nordu, stood in the center of what is now the Flame Wake for thousands of years. His wisdom is as old as this mountain. If that old tree still lives, perhaps he can awaken a Senna. Seek him out. All right, so there we go, guys. So I came back here and I was like, oh, damn it. We still got quests to do. And I want to finish them all. We started a zone. We're going to finish it. And Hydra's a pretty cool zone. I like this zone. I prefer it over uh, last year, the underwater zone. But eventually, we probably will check that out in another leveling playthrough. I think we'll get Deep Home done in this one, and then probably Uldum as well. A lot of dungeons to do, too. Still have Halls of Origination. Grim Batal. I think that might be my favorite dungeon. Dead Mines as well. That's kind of cool. An updated Dead Mines. We haven't done that yet, though. And the Lost City of Tolvir. Shadowfang Keep. It's cool they brought back a few old dungeons. And there he is, Nordu. The Burning Tree. He's getting attacked by these guys. Let's help him out. And there's uh, Tortola. We saved him earlier. We got a volatile fire from him. Nice. Oh, these guys just don't stop attacking him. Kind of feel bad for this tree. Let's have a chat with Nordu. There he is. I have not yet perished. Firefight. It is too late for me. Burn to all but the core. I have lived eons, yet still my end seems sudden. New life can spring from old. I still have wisdom to pass on. Please do not let them take me before my work is done. Keep the tormentors at bay just a little longer, druid. Give me minutes, and I will give you a thousand lifetimes. Let's give him a couple minutes, guys. And we'll slay some fiery tormentors. And we'll give this paladin a buff. We should buff ourselves as well. I still need to do this one, arrive at Blackrock Caverns. I haven't done that yet. Let's get a couple Tormenters here. That's right, we're getting everything. Back and everybody was starting. That's the cool thing about Boomkins, guys. If you're ever doing like a, a rapid spawn, Boomkins are great for it. It's pretty much because they're got good AOE damage. And they they're able to pull mobs pretty damn easily too, with just instant cast moon fire. So we just need one more fiery tormentor. This one right there. Get this guy too. Yeah, okay, we finally rocked Star Surge. Let's heal up here. We're getting kind of low. I think a screenshot of this guy. Yeah, 
Thank you, Torrin. I am ready now. All that I am and all that this forest once was is now yours. The finger-like branches of one of Nordu's burning limbs part, revealing an untouched glimmering seed. This is the heart of the forest, the seed of life. Take this to your Arctruid at Asina's Grove. Amul Ruin Totem will know how to invoke its power. I promise you the wilderness spirit will be silent no longer. New life will bloom from the ashes of old. Thank you, Torin. My time is done. Alright, guys. Let's head back and have a chat with Asina. I'm going to look into this one. Arrive at Blackrock Caverns. Take Pip's Mole Machine. I remember that being like back here or over here. I just, I just didn't take the mole machine. I didn't know where the heck the mole machine was. Always temper your strength with wisdom. I am at my wit's end, Flake here. Asina is silent. Have you found something? What is this? The, the heart of the force. Guide you. This is the key, Fly Carrier, with the seedlings you collected for me earlier, the animals you've saved from around Hyjal, and the heart of the forest you've just dis discovered. We can rejuvenate this land right from under the feet of the Twilight Hammer. Imagine their astonishment to see their work undone as life triumphs over chaos. I will begin the ceremony at once. We got a pretty cool. Nature seeks balance. This guy came in, just sniped the quest. <laughs> just flew in, just like boom. I was just about to pick an item. Pretty nice haste item there, man. We serve the land. Yeah, these gloves of nurtured truth, ninety-six haste. Yeah, they're not better than the ones we have. That's too bad. I guess we'll take this uh, plate chest, which will give us some gold. And there we are, guys. Who are you, mortal, to bear such a bird? Protector of the animals, slayer of dragons, champion of the ancients. My dearest old friend, Nordu, has bestowed to you a great gift. The gift of life. Now I entrust you with an even greater responsibility. By your hand, this mountain will bloom again. It is yours to protect and defend. See that it thrives. Drive out those who would do it harm. Do this in my name. There will be no second chance. This tree looks awesome. I just noticed this tree. <laughs> looks amazing. Right. Nature seeks balance. Tortola's revenge. Things. The mountain blooms again. If we act quickly, we can press our advantage. Our old friend Tortola, the turtle ancient, is already on the move. At his own pace, of course. Find Tortola east of here at the end, at the head of the path leading down into the scorched plains. Our strongholds there fell early in the campaign, but perhaps now we can reclaim them. All right, so off we go. To help Tortola. So he can get revenge. I guess on Ragnaros. Because that's what happened here, right? Ragnaros, I guess, was summoned again by Deathwing. To reign chaos on Mount Hyjal. The battle for Mount Hyjal raid in TBC was a pretty cool raid. The tra people didn't like the, the waves of trash that you had to deal with, but the fight with Archimonde at the end, pretty damn cool. I think I did that right on my Rogue on the channel a couple years back. Maybe I did it on my Druid too. Probably did. The Ancient turns to gaze at you with eyes larger than your entire head. Peering into them is like falling into a deep blue ocean. Tortola's revenge. Torin, I remember you, savior of my children. The time has come for vengeance. The hammer and the key. My nemesis still lives. The servants of fire still come. We must pursue into their den. The ogres know the way. Slay the field captains. Recover the glyph of opening. This is the way. This is the way. There we go. 
Mandalorian Tortola. Hello. He never gave up. Captain Iron Tree said he'd make them pay for every inch of ground they defile. He may still be alive down there. Yeah, Lost nice. wardens. We held out as long as we could, Druid, but the flames, the heat, we lost the whole town. Captain Iron Tree refused to pull back when the flames engulfed us. Our forces are scattered. Maybe some of the others survived. We can mount a counterattack, go into the Scorched Plain, and rescue any lost wardens that got separated from the group. Then find Captain Iron Tree. He's probably taken up a fortified position in the middle of the fighting. Locate and rescue eight lost wardens. Breakthrough. The fiery enemy that caused so much devastation up the hill has retreated east of here. Only the Scorch Lords remain in action. If we can punch a hole through their lines to re regroup with Captain Iron Tree's forces, the whole offensive may collapse. Druid, I am in no shape to continue fighting, but you look like you can do some damage. Play those Scorch Lords and regroup with Captain Iron Tree. Yeah, well. Alright, not bad. Let's wreck the Scorch Lords. There's one. Seen us flying in the air. And this playthrough, it, it, it won't end at level, when I hit level 85, I'm gonna keep playing. I think the rate at the amount, like the, the, the like the, the video rate will probably go down a little bit. But I am still going to be doing some end game with this druid. When we hit level 85, we'll try to get some gear. I think right now we're trying to get our item level up so we can do heroics. Cataclysm heroics, I believe you need like an item level of like 320 something. So... We have a ways to go. I don't know what our item level is right now. It's 284, so yeah, we got, we got a long ways to go. Where we can start getting into heroics. So I actually do want to replace as much ICC loot as I, as I can, so. Doing the dungeons does help quite a bit. The random, like, normal dungeons. Oh, star search to the face. <laughs> These guys are like fire mages. Fire mage is supposedly pretty damn strong. Cataclysm. Great class to play. I believe it was a class that you would... Mages were a class you would stack on... I'd say the heart... One of the hardest fights in Cataclysm. It's either Ragnaros or the Spine of Deathwing. Those are the two hardest fights in the, in the expansion. I remember you would stack rogues with uh, legendary daggers, Fangs of the Father, and... Also, I believe mages as well. I don't know. I think it was like one of the first ever WoW encounters where you actually needed to stack a lot of a certain class to slay the boss. I believe it was a Korean guild that got world first um, for Dragon Soul. It was a long time ago, so I could be wrong about that. I, I forget a lot of stuff. It's been like over 10 years. So almost like 15. Twilight Field Captains. Do we need to get any Field Captains? Just gotta save Lost Wardens. Let's fight a Field Captain here.
There we go, we got the key. Now we just need to save the lost wardens. And we'll see if we can finish the zone today. We, should, we have to be close. Greetings. They've opened gateways to the Firelands. Tell me there's still hope. On your feet, soldier, the agents are with us, and the mountain is healed. Goodbye. We're still in this fight. I've got to report to Iron Tree. There we go. They got a little bit of hope. What brings you here? Farewell. We still have to find some wardens here. Peace Let's pick up this quest. High gel recycling program. Reinforcements. I thought we were going to fight this out to the bitter end. Very few of the guardians of high gel remain, and our supplies are running out. The battlefield around our holdout here must be littered with serviceable arrows. I know it's beneath your abilities, but can you gather up our spent ammunition? It's the only way we can replenish our supplies. All right. Let's do this. Just one right here. I if I can just typhoon him off the cliff. No. Not strong enough of a typhoon. Oh. Been hit in the back. Once we start stacking up our spell powers, Starfall is going to do so much damage. Be fun I to do some seen. RBGs. I'm burned badly. On your feet, soldier. The ancients are with us, and the mountain is healed. Let's see if anybody's in here. One thing they've added, supposedly, to retail is uh, you can queue up for raided battlegrounds. That would be awesome if they added that to, uh, you know, Cataclysm. That should be a game, like, something that they should implement. Just queuing up for for RBGs. I think that'd be great. Because it is a pain, like, getting into a, a group and all that. Queuing up would make that, a, you know, a lot easier. <laughs> Remember back in the day, like, doing RBGs, everybody would get on Skype. <laughs> Good old Skype, guys. I don't think anybody uses that anymore. I remember the the sound when someone would make a call. Do, 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 do. Now it's all about Discord. Yeah, it used to be Skype and Ventrilo. And that's what the voice comms that people would use. Having a tough time finding these uh, these wardens. Supposedly they're around here. Probably in these homes and stuff. You would think. And Discord's been out for a while now. Almost ten years. Discord has been out. Like, that is kind of insane. Flies. Discord really like took over voice comps. I don't know if anyone's ever gonna you know top Discord, but it could happen. I, I probably thought the same thing about Ventrilo like over a decade ago. Scorch Lord there. Somebody in here. There we go. Hello. Be careful. I started using Discord back in, I think, Warlords of Draenor. I think that the raid was uh, Hellfire Citadel. I was playing uh, Blood DK back then. How 
And Warlords of Draenor wasn't too bad. I just don't know if I would want to play it. Like, like in its entirety. <laughs> like I, I would like to check out the dungeons and stuff again. How may I help? And the raids. And the, I, I would enjoy the questing as well. But the garrisons and all that, I, I'm not too into. It was WoW's failed attempt at player housing. And I think player housing really only works in what brings you? in MMOs if the house is like actually in the world. I think they do it also like like that in um, in Elder Scrolls Online. It's like an instance type thing. Can I assist you? And I think probably Final Fantasy is like that as well. But there was this game I used to play called Tibia. And the homes were in the world. And it was so cool, man. Like, you'd have... There'd be, like, a real estate market in the world. So if you owned a home, you could, like, trade it and make gold off of it. You had to pay rent every month. And uh, some properties, you know, were worth more than others, depending on where they were located. It's kind of cool. You've assembled the survivors. Good, good. And the rest of the mountain healed? Haha, -ha, strike me down. We're on the front lines again. It looks like most of the Twilight's Hammer has fallen back to regroup for another assault. Their most dedicated are staying behind the, to hold the line. This is our chance to whittle away at their leadership. Range out along the Scorched Plain and crush the Twilight Field Captains. We'll remove them from the equation. Okay. I'm listening. You killed how many? Well, well, quite a show. I guess my men don't have any more excuses. Stars, Warden's arrows are crafted of living oak, blessed in the moon wells, and tipped with obsidian arrowheads, scrawled with runes invoking the blessings of nature. They're not cheap. Wonderful, still sharp. A little blood on the fletchling. But they'll fly true. Thank you, Flight Carrier. Our defense of high gel can continue. We have a pretty cool trinket here. 143 intellect. It's a little bit less than our reign of the dead. Increases your haste rating by 715 for 20 seconds. It's an on use. I'll take it. Maybe we'll use it. Because we want haste. Haste is one of the stats we really want to have. Well. So maybe it could replace Meridian's Spyglass. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. Okay, so now we need to slay Twilight Field Captains. Yeah, Tibby had pretty good player housing. I liked it. And cool thing about it is like you could show off the stuff like your like what you've done in the game in your homes. Like people can go up to the home and kind of look inside it, and see how you decorated it. And for example, you could have like Deathwing's head on your wall showing that you slayed Deathwing. You could also show like epic items that are hard to obtain. You would be like, "Oh wow, this guy's house is, you know, decorated with a bunch of awesome loot. It's a cool way to show off your achievements. And some cities, you know, their real estate was worth more than others if they're more popular or they're closer to, you know, certain, like, uh, farming locations that people want to access. Because you can, um, can leave stuff like manas and all this other cool loot there. Consumables that you would want for farming. Pretty good game, Tibia. 
a lot of content. It's been it was made in the nineties, so it's got decades of, of content. It's a two D game though. So if you're like used to three D MMOs you might not like Tibia too much. But there was a another game that came out recently, I forget. It's like a Tibia clone. It looks like Tibia. Yeah, it's called Raven Dawn Online, I believe. Yeah, that's what it is. And it recently just came out. I don't know if it's going to be better than Tibia, but... I don't want to call it a Tibia clone, but it, it, used, it looks like it. Just uses 2D. And the fighting was cool too, because it's like square based. So like if you're on a square, you kind of like own that 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 spot. So the way people would like slay other players in the game is they would say like this is like a popular trap, like on like PvP servers. Say there's like a hole right here, you go down the hole and there would be like a bunch of players surrounding you like this on all 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 the different squares, and they just start blasting you with like spells. And the only way you could do you could go up, but they could like stun you or block you. You could also push players off square. So what you would have to do if they did that, you'd have to push a player off by like dragging them, and they would get pushed. And then you'd have to be really quick and like sidestep and then like dash out of there. It was it was it's different type of combat like compared to other MMOs, but it was just really cool. I, am I think with the you know the like like indie games getting better and better over time, like getting closer to that triple A level, not probably start seeing like more games like that in the future. Terrific Twilight's Hammer will no doubt try to retake the mountain, but they'll have to do so without the leadership of those fat for brain thugs. May the stars guide them. Okay, so now we have to head back here. The hammer and the key. And I think in 3D games, you just can't have player housing like that. Like, it'd be amazing if you could have... I just don't think you can have a server. You'd have to have... The problem is they'd have to lock the server at a certain amount of players. And there would be insane queue times for that to work. It's the only way they could have player housing. Sort of like Tibia. I am listening. The glyphs show it to me. This power is ancient, primitive, easy. You will use it against them. Memorize the, the glyph. Take it within yourself. Draw it on the ground before the flame gate. East of here, enter the Firelands. I cannot come with you, but my children await inside. Find Garunda Mountain Peak within the Realm of Flame. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going into the Firelands, guys. Let's do it. And I think that's why all the... The MMOs are, are like their the housing systems are all like instance based, where it's just like you have a house that's kind of outside of the world. And to be honest, I'm not really a fan of that. Like you want to be able to show off your house, and you can kind of by inviting people and showing them, but it's, it's not the same. You want like a completely random player just to be able to walk up and, be, and you go up like whose house is this and they'll say this is Trav's house and then you can look inside and see like what they got New World's the same thing It's I think it's instant space as well Well met. but it's they do have like the, the homes in the in the towns which is cool I cannot fathom their origin of purpose of this place these corridors are used for troop movements, yes, but they're also littered with charred and tortured corpses. Some partially devoured, most simply crushed and beaten. 
We are in the Firelands, but I feel as though we crossed the threshold into hell. Ancestors, watch over. You were sent by the Turtle God. Bless his almighty shell. I thought I was trapped down here forever. All right, so we got a dagger here. A nice one-handed dagger, but it's not even close to as good as our uh, our mace. So what we'll do is, yeah, we'll take the dagger. It sells for the most. Goodbye. Amount of gold. The time for mercy has passed. This caravan is an abomination, Flycare, and it's filled with horrors from the depths. I don't want any of these things getting through the portal to the outside world. Slay everything. Farewell. The strength of Tortola. The dark usurper, Nemesis, fled here when the fires of Hygel receded. We are not yet strong enough to defeat Nemesis, Flycare, but we may be able to return his own strength against him. I will send a child of Tortola with you, one of the children you freed earlier from the Twilight's corruption. Search the depths of this cave for a nemesis crystal and allow the young turtle to examine it. See me if you lose your companion. All right, so let's keep on rolling here, guys. We got a little turtle companion with us. Child of Tortola, <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go, he's a fighter too. He gets right in the fight. Yeah, New World did player housing pretty good. Like, the homes would be in, in certain towns, so you could have your house in a certain town that you like, but, like, a thousand players could have the same home as you in the same, right? So it's, it's, it's instanced, but it's not. It was kind of a mix. I kind of I like New World's house. It's pretty good. But it's smart that WoW's like I think waiting a long, long time before they ever do like a WoW two. Clearly, you know we're not there yet to make like the ultimate MMO. I think the ultimate MMO would include, you know, real life player housing in a 3D game. I just don't think uh, 3D games can do that yet, unless there's a game I don't know of that has, you know, player housing like that. Where like you own the house and you're the only one on the server that owns it. And you don't really own it. You're paying rent. If, if you stop paying rent, then you lose the house. That's how it is in, in the game. Hit him at the wrong time. Respond to him. These little turtles shoot like water shots. Water bolts. <laughs> like little squirtles. We need to find the Nemesis Crystal. There it is. To examine that. Is there like an item we need to use or we just walk up to it? Okay, there we go. Oh, there he is. Child of Tortola is examining it. You know, we just need to slay one more Tormentor and there he is, Nemesis. He has 111,000 health. It's 112,000 if you want to round it up. It's quite a bit, but it's not that much. We have 50,000. 
So we could probably kill him, I think. That was one thing about Cataclysm. The numbers were so high. I think that's why they lowered it, I believe, in Warlords of Draenor. It got reset. I think in Mist of Pandaria, it's probably pretty high, too. Maybe they reset it in Mist of Pandaria. I'm not too sure. Greetings. Ancestors watch over you. Be careful. I need to find one more Tormentor. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the secret strength of Nemesis unearthed here in these caravan, these caverns. We know all that we need to know. Flight Carrier, it is time to finish this. Ancestors watch finish over Nemesis. You. Your turtle companion can use this newfound power to render the two of you invulnerable for a short period of time. You can turtle up to avoid the worst of Nemesis and his fury. To do so, simply invoke this totem. This is all I can do for you. Together, you and a, a child of Tortola must defeat Nemesis. Once and for all, finish the Usurper. Turn to me if you lose your turtle fight. Right. Right, so we need to find one more Molten Tormentor. Didn't find one on the way back. I was hoping to, but everything seemed to be slain. Oh, there's one. Should I go back and turn this in? I get another quest with it. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Why not? You're getting close to level 83. And Barrowed and Hold will be a fun little event to do again. How may I aid you? I haven't done that in a long time. Go in peace. So it is done. Knowing that Twilight's Hammer is in league with creatures of malice such as these, it really curdles by the water. And I remember doing Barrowed and Hold back in the day. And what people would do to try to, like, cheese it is you would get on your mount, and right before it ended, you would run in, and you would enter the the Barrett and Hold instance for like a, for a couple seconds before you get kicked out and if you enter it at the right time like right before it ends you will get the, the rewards for it like you were in like you queued up and you got in it so uh, I wonder if that still exists probably not maybe they got rid of that because there was like a bridge a lot of people would, would sit on and they'd wait for it to end, like be close to being over, and they just run in, get the reward, and, and be done. I used, I used to do that quite a bit, to be honest. So that's like uh, where all the dailies are it's, it's in that area as well. I'm not a big fan of dailies, to, to be honest. I, there's a lot of those in the Pandaria as well. Oh my gosh, she's about to erupt. Get two, under two to shell. Oh my gosh. Let's do another one. Let's, let's help this guy, dude. He's tanking for us. I don't know what. I'm going to die, though. I don't have Tuga with me. Oh, he died. Did that count for us? No. We don't have a Tuga with us. Can't do that yet. Well, I don't have a turtle with me. And we didn't get the, we didn't get anything for that because we didn't group up with the guy. Kind of weird. Like, I don't have a child of Tortola with me. Is that mine right there? Maybe? No, that's this guy's. Where the heck is mine? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, we gotta go back. Stakes were made again, guys. Oh. 
don't know why I don't have a child with Tortola with me. It's like everybody has one. I tried to use it during the fight. I couldn't get, really get anything from it. Another thing that's kind of lame about being a druid is when you're inside, you, you don't get the speed bonus from being in calf form. Hey, where's my... Where's my Tortola, man? What brings you here? I lost my turtle. There you go. Of course, Fly Carrier, you rescued these turtles from Twilight's Hammer. Follow you anywhere. Alright, so there you go. So you can actually lose your turtle, guys. Kind of surprised at that. We lost them. Maybe you ran away. It'd be nice if I could just run by all these guys. I'm gonna try that. And then we'll fight Nemesis. Looks like he's been slain. There's one. I guess we'll join up with this guy. He has to kill him. No, never mind. No, it's too late now. Too late now. Okay, looks like he's looking to do it. Tanky pants. Or tanky <laughs> pants. And Floyd's could be looking to do it as well. The DK. He's back. Let's do it. See my Trent survived that blast. And there we go. We did it. Yeah, we could have killed that guy solo. He did like 90k damage there in like a couple seconds. Hmm, you gotta go this way. Getting a tank set would be kind of good. As well, I believe there's uh, tank cues and stuff, and healer cues and cataclysm. You can get extra rewards, and there probably will be like a daily dungeon reward. And being a tank's pretty good for that. And you get quick cues too. You don't have to wait like ten minutes, like we would as a DPS. Peace, friend. I can up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Farewell. The usurper has perished. Twilight's Hammer dreamed of creating their own pantheon of twisted agents to rule over the land, sea, and air. With your help, they've all been executed. We must tell Tortola at once. We got this liberating helmet, liberating crown helmet. That's hit and crit. Yeah, I think our blinkered hood's better. Maybe more. Haste is pretty damn good. 
And we get Spirit on it as well. Pretty close. Or we get this uh, Agi Stand Mastery Legs. Man, I don't really want the hood. We're good with what we got. Be careful. Tortola's Triumph. I'll escort the children of Tortola out of here and seal up this cursed portal. I'll leave it to you to inform Tortola of our victory. Simply step back through the flame gate. The ancient will be placed. Alright, so next, if I ever do that again, to make sure you don't lose your turtle. Or you'll be walking back and forth quite a bit. Not too sure how we lost our turtle. Guess it got killed. That's a guy's got the 150% flight speed. You've been to the Firelands. Nemesis is dead, so it is finished. Thank you. Nemesis destroyed. I feel rejuvenated. Powerful. Awakened. Tell Yasura my strength is hers. The Twilight Hammer will fall. All right, back to Nordrasil, guys. Yeah, we'll go back. Let's do it. Try to finish this zone today. I think I mentioned this. It, sometimes, like, when I render over an hour, sometimes the the render, like, the video, it's, it fails. And so I kind of, uh... It sucks, so I don't want to try to stay under an hour. I think we're close to the end. We're pretty damn close. But I also want to do this as well. I want to do this Black Rock Caverns part too. The dreamer has awoken. We all play By relieving Tortola of his final burdens, you have acquired for us a formidable ally and the final piece of the puzzle. Steal yourself, like Gary. The most difficult part of our journey is to begin. We will bring the fight to their stronghold. The dream gives us shelter. The dream. All right, guys. Well, I think we'll save it. We'll save the final part. For next episode, guys, and then I'm gonna try to do this as well. We'll go to Black Rock Caverns to try to get a, a, a quest for that dungeon. So the next time we go in, we can, you know, finish the quest for that. That's gonna be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.